Oh, that band is funky. So, I'm going to do it our way. We're celebrating the brotherhood and the community. Second annual Men of Excellence Award. Welcome to an upload of STEM. What's up, girls? It's your boy Niles, the God Kid Life Productions, Hip Hop is Real.com. We're here at the Black Excellence Award, the second annual. We got Brother Smalls once again bringing me out here, man. Um, the people looking excellent and beautiful today, man, Brother Smalls. Um, what made you decide to come here today and uh, have media at one of our Black Excellence Awards? I mean, just listen to that name, you know, Black Excellence, you know, Men of Excellence. Uh, any organization seeking to acknowledge, stimulate, inspire excellence, it's right up, right up our alley, because that's what we try to do, even with this whole uh, channel and platform, is to elevate our people, to let them know what, or remind them, or to help them remember how great we are, we have been, and we always will be. So yes, yeah, so once I, I got knowledge of, of this great, great event, and I have a little part to the story, I'm gonna save until the end, I think it's an interesting part. But uh, getting knowledge of this event, I said, let's, let's come down there and give them the kind of acknowledgement they need for, for people to, to, to be trying to heal and lift that part of us. The part that so often is unacknowledged or unrecognized. You know, we got a lot of excellent brothers and sisters that don't get acknowledgement. It's like they just go through a storm of, of nothingness almost, in a sense of, you know, they don't get, it's, who doesn't want a pat on the back, especially if you deserve it. But if you're deserving it and it's never delivered, you know, that can't be a good feeling. So things like this, in a little way, medium size to big way, says, hey, brother, hey, sister, we see you. We see you. And we're proud of you. And here, take this as our acknowledgement of how, how great you make us. Mm. And I think that's that's a, a, a beautiful process. You know, another it, award show that's coming up, you know, Sonetta is putting together an award show. And I'm, I'm looking, at, looking at the firestorm related to it. And it's... it's it's an interesting thing, and you, you know, and everybody knows Charnetta is my brother, and I speak to him, and I give him my suggestions and advice, and you know, usually he takes for like one percent of it, if that much. But but the brother, he wants to elevate us, he wants to lift us, he wants to provide a format and a platform that will give the things I just spoke of acknowledgement. But I think a lot of firestorms, you know, so many instances, our brother, our brother Sarnett is a beautiful, complex brother. So the different sides of him that people have encountered, they often, you know, feel everything he does is monetarily driven. And that thought, feeling, observation might come about rightly or wrongly based on their experiences, which they have a right to. But I think when you get to the point where you never want to give someone the benefit of the doubt of, you know, maybe this brother is really trying to do this. And I'll share what some of the suggestions I gave to him. And I said, I said, brother, you know, you know, out of love, because I do love that brother. I said, why not do this? Why not uh, uh, come up with a situation where yours is different by being transparent? Who is going to judge uh, the nominees? You know, who's going, what's going to be the criteria? What's the category? Because if it's just giving out political passes or if it's just a yes man reward, that no, that, that can't be what, so if you make it transparent, but then also I said, how about this? How about 10% of the proceeds going towards either an elder fund, uh, Dr. Ben, Dr. Clark, Francis Scott Welsing. Uh, we've got some folks that left here transition in their estate or their family may not be, you know, doing everything as well as it could be. They could all be doing lovely, I may not know, but if not, why not 10% towards the fund? and let the public see it and let them be be aware of it. And I just said that would go a long way in in lifting and dispelling any kind of cloud that could be forming or that people automatically you know move towards which derails our energy. A brother trying to do something good for us, by us, we automatically should applaud that and be ready to elevate this brother and his award. So I don't know, and you know I didn't mean to get that complex, but yeah, yeah, this is a beautiful affair that we're at. Um, last uh, award I went to was last year, November 12th, with the Black Power Women's Name and everything like that. You know, um, 
it's just, you know, for me, it's a good thing to see because, you know, a lot of times we got our own point basically go to the Oscars or Golden Globes and all these things, but we're always in the background. Now. Even when we go to BT Awards and things like that, or, you know what I'm saying, the MTV Awards, we usually don't get it. We might get nominated and we don't win or things like that. Um, why is it important for us to take control of that so we can actually award each other certain things? But we know the best ones of us is getting what they deserve and things like that. We're not getting snubbed because of a color of our skin and stuff like that. It's, man, it's, it, it, it's just... It's so needed. It's so needed. It's because we know the double standard, the double measurement ruler they use when their awards, the Oscar, you know, the traditionally white, the Emmy, mm-hmm. a white award. Not that brothers and sisters ain't legitimately grabbed and held them down. You know, shout out to to, to, to uh, sister Angela. They said this. I, I don't even know if she ever won or what. If not, she deserved one. But if she has it, fabulous actress. But who's? A, well, we have great black actresses that held down Oscars, and we know Denzel and other male black actors that have held down Oscars. But they know if they ever was to be able to speak honestly, I think they would have to know, in the very uncertain terms, what the double standards are. That they may be able to evade at this point, at this size or this level in their career, but they might even face a version of it. You know, why isn't Denzel playing some other roles that he might be interested in that they may have uh, put aside for a classical European male of his age for whatever reason? So, anyway, so there's a lot of politics with that. But now on the flip side, is there not now a lot of politics with this? And it's like, do we need that? Do we have to have a version of politics about us rewarding ourselves? You know, because that brother, that brother DJ, he got mad. It just, yeah, he was just taking was, shots and my man, why didn't you, how come you didn't and people just hooking yeah. off on them. I enjoy it, um, just for me being there. Uh, yeah. The yeah. 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 To me, just being there, reporting, mm-hmm. speaking to all the elders and getting to see uh, you know, everybody, uh, Professor Jane Small, uh, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Everyone who was in the intimate. And just to see that unity, for me, mm-hmm. it was one of the best things I've seen yeah. in a long time. Yeah. Like the way they put it together now. Who won, who lost, and things like that. I wasn't really, you know. Yeah, even, but see, and that's important now who won or lost. But of course. for me, for us, the more important thing is what was the climate, the atmosphere. The version you just gave, that's in the mind. Not one, but see, you know what it is? What I'm finding out, you know, uh, kind people, caring people, considering people are not really loud and boisterous and they're not, they not doing 10 uploads a month and, you know, they're not, they not out there like that. So a lot of people had your, your experience. But since, you know, it ain't a vocal thing for you all, we don't hear it. Me personally, I was there. Let's go back to Kid Like Production. Uh-huh. I made a lot of things for a lot of people. A lot of these people felt like so. It was a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. And if you didn't, you probably weren't there. Okay. If okay. you weren't there, that's the only way I could see you saying, you know, Yeah, anything. okay, then, because I'm hearing them trying to not, I didn't go repeat it, but just in little ways, in my, what I, give little, little mix, like taking chunks out of what he accomplished and what he is accomplishing and I was I was actually scheduled to go down I didn't get to credential clearance in time and that and that changed up my trip plans but I want to work with the brother and I, and I support that brother in his endeavor uh, it's just we, we got to spread more of the love around and stop and stop in our little ego ego ways start to block or interfere or not not be not feel small civil wars going on why and for what and to win what to win what what do I win by besting you I best my brother to struggle with me yeah I'm better than him but the oppressor still got both of us now it's like what is what is the logic one thing I see which probably causes us to fight the most even when we're all working and doing things it seems like it always goes back to the financial world. everyone is not financially in the best situation so even I might have the keys to let you know but it's like I'm not going to give it to you I ain't get to where I wanted to get to yet. I ain't make the money I was supposed to make to you. So why let you take over my work? It has a lot of those type of things. Man, okay, I see that, and I see that, and I, and I hope this sounds okay. You know, there are some brothers where they're very economically driven. And don't get me wrong, this is capitalism. We all got to deal with a level of economics. You know, financial freedom. Right, but the same, those slights, those same little cuts and nicks even take place among our affluent blacks. If, I, I got some, what I, uh, what I appreciate, I've been able to establish some friends in so many walks of life that I've had a close enough relationship with that they will share in confidence. One thing people will learn, well you, well, you learn it very quickly if you, you really get to spend any 
Confidentiality is something I hold to the utmost highest degree. So someone out of respect, said, brother, I'm sharing this with you and this is for no one else. You know, I, I, will, I will die with those words because it will never reach another set of ears because you know, people don't honor that to these days. But, but, but for, that, for that reason, I would want to make sure that uh, I, no, I, I, lo I, I, lost, I lost my, I lost my focus because a, a superstar yeah. just kind of. Yeah, yes, yes I think I am. You know, uh, Madam Coco, please, if you can grace us and bring that dapper, yes. sharp gentleman over here with you. Now, uh, we were just speaking about what you've established here, and, 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 and what it what it means for us to take ownership of our platforms and lifting each other, and how beautiful a thing this is to have for us, because we're still healing on so many levels as a people. And me and the young brother were speaking about how we're so excellent, but we're so really rewarded for it. So how did the vision come about to, to want to do something like this? And give first, give the name, and give okay. a little bio of yourself. Okay, just a little bio. My name is Coco China, AKA The Doll, and I am a designer, entrepreneur specialist. I'm an editor-in-chief of CCN Fashion Fair Magazine, CCN Design, CEO, CEEOs of Coco Nation Corporation. Mm. And I had this vision because I'm a mother of three sons. And we were out of the nation of Islam. And I just like that training of young men and women's training. And I am disgusted at the fact that I'm looking at cracks of behinds and sloppiness and no pride. As a designer, it is appalling as a mother to know that I raised my children to a level of excellence and I'm not seeing excellence. So we created a celebration of the images of black, African American, Hispanic, Latino, and Arab American and a celebration of brotherhood and community. I am looking forward to a patriarchy where we are raising whether you're with your mate or without your mate. It's about raising the children and creating legacies. Mm -hmm. Putting the children and pride mm -hmm. because they are our jewels. Yes. And we're tarnished now. Mm -hmm. The only images we see is we're being arrested, killed, you know, and I want that to change. Mm -hmm. If I can just do a little bit in my lifetime mm -hmm. to implement right. change, mm -hmm. I will dedicate mm -hmm. whatever hour of the day mm -hmm. to share my opinions mm -hmm. and, and just push forward with that. Yes, th that, that, that is so needed now because I think people don't realize, you know, you, know, you are a, a warrior in a warrior sense of the imagery. There's a battlefield of imagery that our people being drawn into. From the music, from what they see in the movies, on these different uh, electronic devices that are constantly feeding them. And like you said, our image is a negative one when they project it. So if we don't battle and counter that with a warrior like this who says, no, I know how great our image is. So your battlefield is where we have to have people that shape and put forward our best image. It's here. Yes. It's here. Let's yes. dust it off. Because we put it on the back burner and it should be on the front mm -hmm. of every time that we walk out the door. Mm -hmm. We should be excellent. Yes. We came from kings and queens. I am a queen. I and I raised kings. I say. I say. <laughs> and before so, you say another word, who's this Sean Connor? <laughs> yes. He cleaning the water. Help yes. up in here. Please, just some introduce okay. the gentleman. I want to introduce to the master of masters of ceremony, mm. Mr. Otis Wall. That took this journey with me and Sean Brown uh, last year when we had the inaugural Men of Excellence. Mm -hmm. And through trial and tribulation, he had a serious accident and he still showed up.
up and show them. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure to be here. Yes, thank you. And I, this lady's under my wings, and it's a blessing being here for the second time. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at her. This, this is beautiful. Yeah. Just like she say, I saw an example of black men with a motivational speaker. Public school, junior high school, you know, it's me to give back. Never drank or smoked, never got high, never got arrested. And my blessing is yet to be 74 okay. years old. God bless. And do my... Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh. oh, and he doesn't even want to tell you. Can this camera follow this? Oh, yeah. okay. Ashe. My blessing. Ashe. 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 Whoa, 74. Yes, that's a blessing. That is That's why I'm here with this queen right like here. Wow. I have one question I want to ask. Please. And yeah, you know, I think a lot of my friends, a lot of people I see growing up, a lot of young brothers and sisters are more into fashion. I'm more into designing their own yeah. brand and creating their own clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Kanye West and his yeah. highest job was trying to get into the, you know, the high end and design things. What's your advice for people who want to achieve that high end level? Stop like the polos yeah. and the Dolce yeah. okay. high end brands. What's Stop buying them. Stop buying Dolce, Gucci, Fendi, Louis Vuitton. If you want to invest in your community and you want your community to rise up, I'm a designer that I have to say proudly. The ladies and gentlemen that model my clothes, they buy them. And I do first. So it's an investment. See? So invest. Stop talking about it. Because even Kanye, Sean John, Rockaway and all of them, when they saw, looking out in the audience, that the people that paid for the ticket was wearing the same thing as them, they went back to the high end. Ain't that deep? But I was always high end, so I keep it in the family, in the community, support it. Because we're not doing our job as designers if we are not touching anybody with what we are creating. So why be a creator and not an innovator in setting the trend? Yes. I say, if you don't want to support what I do, maybe not all the time they can buy a fur, or they can buy the shoe, they can buy an earring, knowing that they give appreciation. As the creator said, we should be appreciated. And it looks good. Don't be, don't be they do look good. Everything. Don't be exposed in their body. Yes. Exactly. And I teach runway and how to be a model, but I teach them that their first job is to be a salesperson. If you can't sell me, then why am I employing you? So I have many of brand models, happily 33 years, don't look it, but 33 years <laughs> in the business, supporting the community as a mentor and an entrepreneur specialist. Because I don't care if you call yourself a model, actor, dishwasher, <laughs> be a business about it. So you take something away. When you have to come to your household, you're not leaving it there and have nothing for your family. And family is important, legacy is important. Because I know when I leave here, and I can go tomorrow, because we don't know what's in store. Right, right. This could make it into triple of what we ever thought it could be. Mm -hmm. So I say embrace and endorse. Mm -hmm. We saw this thing maybe 40 years ago, it was only baby, but it was called Black Solidarity. I haven't seen any solidarity. I haven't seen any solidarity. If, I, if we are trillion dollar, trillion dollar consumers, then we don't need to have only one half of one percent coming back to our own community. That's true. true. Trillion dollar mm -hmm. consumers. We buy everything <laughs> except from one another. Mm. So stop doing that and do more of embracing. I want to see green dollars go into black hands yes. all the time. Yes. Yes. And we yes. don't have no Cyclical. effort. But, money should be but, circulated. Yes. but be responsible. I'm not saying just because I'm black. No. Make sure your quality. I'm quality. Yes. 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 Make sure. Yes. And unfortunately, we don't like to come back and say anything.
anything. We just won't come back. 33 years. I've never had 28 years. My store was in Harlem, 135th Adam Clayton Fowler Street Boulevard. Then I moved to 142nd uh, Malcolm X and Adam Clayton Fowler Boulevard. 33 years. Not one person had to bring something back because I make it excellent. I do custom design, one of the kind. I take the elements. I'm not about the size, I'm about the fit. Mm, How you wear it. History and yes. consistency. Yes. Now, we have somewhat of a little bit of a political platform. A little bit. Okay. okay. So, a little question. Now, just answer to put people at ease, just to let them know. Now, I'll, I'll give my opinion before. <laughs> These markets are available. As long as they are available, I want to economically see my people positioned there. So okay. from an, an, an economic, I understand that part of it. But we have brothers and sisters. What do you say about the human rights family related to fur? I mean, is that something that's a part of it? It doesn't can, bother me. Okay. Because cool. we come from kings and queens mm -hmm. that knew what to do with the skin. We pray mm. to that animal mm. that God says we need to be clothed. And it is from you mm. that I take the skin mm. to clothe me that as the true. king and queen that I am. So, and even, so even cut it on board the men. They use the skin, the nails, We know the what bones, to do it. Everything. So, everything. I wonder, does that, to them, is that okay? But for me, that's, that's holistic. But they have a spiritual lism to it mm. when they put all this together. Mm, mm. Like I say, custom design is very spiritual because I look at you, mm. I look at your eye color, your skin tone, your hair color, and your essence. Mm. And when you put on what I create for you, it matches, it matches and no one else can wear it the same. Whoa. That's how it is. <laughs> nice. So, what I say to PETA people, my great grandmothers, aunties, all were made, mm -hmm. and the Caucasian had no problem gifting it to us. Mm -hmm. It's when we could afford mm -hmm. to buy it ourselves. Whoa. Whoa. I said I'm American. Mm -hmm. I have choices. Mm -hmm. no, I, and I have the choice Shame. to spend my money on what I I say, I say, and you've been so generous and kind with your time. And guess what? She is the center of the storm. Everything that takes place, this lady coordinates, organizes. I mean, I've been able to reach to the final detail. So I know people are reaching out to you. They've been waved off all the time you've been being interviewed. So we're going to let you get back. Okay. But the last contact, website, what is the best way people who want to support you, how can they do that? They can contact me first by my email, which is C H Y. N N A L F at Gmail and I have a website www.cocochynnacccn.com and through my website because I do custom design I don't want people to see what I'm giving to you <laughs> they might get jealous right oh no <laughs> so until you can wear it and share it it's under wraps that's the way so to do it. So contact me at the web at my website. Mm -hmm. It takes you directly to my social media. Mm -hmm. And it's Linda Ford mm -hmm. on Facebook. Excellent. It's Restock Print on Instagram. Mm -hmm. It is Linda Coco China Ford on LinkedIn, Excellent. Twitter, mm, and whatever. Lovely. You got the whole spectrum. Okay. Thank you for your time. And okay. as the evening progresses, we may have you come back just to say a quick word of how things are going. Okay. Thank and, and, you so much. All my wrists is frogs, all my